Alright, all right, hello and welcome to uh, Picture to Playable, I guess that probably a working title, but yeah. Basic idea is I found some art on, uh, I think it was DeviantArt, I'll have to link the dudes, the source of it in the description. It's like some uh, side scrolling Fallout 3 type deal. So I am going to try and make this into something playable. It won't be particularly big, it's just something to do for a video, because I've not made one in a while. And, why the fuck not? Basically, source material is this picture here, so, the dude, and etc. Yeah, you know what you're looking at. Uh, yeah, that's the same picture, because I forgot to open the wrong one. Okay, there's another one in the cafeteria, so I will go and get probably show you that at some point. Yeah, so basically, uh, first thing they need to do is... Uh, get all the possible sprites from this, like basically you want to divide it up into sections so you can just repeat them. I'm not going to cut up the dude's original art, I'm just going to sort of replicate the style of it I guess. I'm not going to record that so it will cut to when I've done it and I've got a sprite sheet, so see you in a minute. Okay, so now that I've got the uh, the sprites done are from the original picture which was here. I'll basically just go through them and explain what I'm about to do with it. So basically, uh, environment ones. Basically it was split up to things that you could use like more than once to create environments. So you got lights, doors, locker thing, that's a sign for a thing that I can just use text from pretty much anywhere if I need for something specific. Uh, like Inverted doors, which in retrospect I don't need because I can just flip the Y axis. So, but either way, uh, yeah, uh, both lit and sort of unlit uh, wall panels in case you know, like one was under a light. Yeah, and I've got both open doors as well, in just in case I wanted to add that. It's not going to be a big game; it's just more of a proof of concept type dealy. Okay, so next is the person. Now I decided to go with uh, basically it's split up into three parts. So you've got the legs, which my quality, <laughs> uh, yeah, really shitty leg animation, but it'll do the job. So basically, you got your legs part, uh, you got the torso and head parts. So this is basically an unarmed, so it's just arms moving like a robot or some shit. Yeah, I can't do sprites, and I've nabbed the head out of his original drawing. And I think the second part is a uh, basically. For the armed one, it's the 10 millimeter pistol, which again I nabbed from the thing, so it might look a little different. And basically, the idea is that's going to have a pivot point attached to the end, to the opposite, uh, to the shoulder part, part, where it will sort of like rotate and follow the mouse when you until you shoot. And basically, like just to stop, uh, stop it, like looking like he's got some weird ass arm that can rotate backwards. When you get to like, I think it's the 180 degrees, so it'll be like there as a line. It, the whole player will flip, so it'll face the other way, and the gun will be facing the other way. And that was pretty much what I was going with there. And I've not taken the guard sprites out because I'm lazy. But if anyone cares and watches this, I'll do that. And basically, GUI is basically a lot of it's just going to be a. Uh, I left a bit there. I have to get rid of that. A lot of it is basically just going to be. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I may have just leave all that. Oh no. Oh well. Basically, it's going to be sort of aesthetic. Uh, this bit, aside from the health thing and the ammo bit, are going to be real. But aside from that, yeah, it's just going to be for show. Because. It's not that big of a thing, it's just to test an idea out to see if anyone cares to see it. Alright, and until after we've done the programming. Okay, and now we've got stuff basically in the game. We've got something that's somewhat playable, I guess. So I'll just show you that. Uh, hurry up. Okay, basically, you see the mouse cursor, it just follows the gun. So then it just like flips either side, and you can see my quality sprite animation. Although you can go backwards, it looks like he's moonwalking, so that was an un unintended feature. Uh, yeah, basically, move left and right with A and D. You know, it's not complex. Uh, animation is done by just looping through an array of sprites. 
they're not the best because I'm crap at art and that's why I had to steal list guys and I hope we don't get angry but oh well uh, yeah no this, these all these things are just uh, aesthetic and I forgot to add the little bits at the top and bottom oh well I'll do that in a minute uh, yeah uh, there's one thing that's probably worth showing is the movement which had to be a bit different because basically I found it would the the movement was relative to the rotation so basically when you rotated right uh, it become inverted so basically I had to do a check for if it was facing I think if it's facing right then it goes yeah right and then left this is just to make sure that it goes the same direction when you press keys because when you switched direction it would like make the key go in the other direction make the key would make you move in the other direction that was a horrible way to explain it but yeah uh, this is just the rotation I had to make a second sprite for the uh, for the gun and arm because it would just like when it flipped the arm would be upside down and I couldn't find a way to fix that through code so I just flipped it in GIMP and that seemed to solve the problem I think so yeah so. Uh, yeah so next up I think is might be health actually I'll do the GUI start sprites okay uh, yeah we've got some simple GUI bit in for the first part of it it's all kind of a static, there's no actual like uh, action point stuff except f uh, uh, but the health works so I press P now just to demonstrate that it works uh, yeah so they'll disappear when you get shot and blah 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 the rest of it is all just aesthetic because there wasn't there's not that much point in programming it well it's just for show this little thing, it's not a proper game I guess so I guess next up will have to be shooting stuff I guess okay uh, more you know, more beautiful bandicam based footage oh god what's going on oh it started giving me frame rates for some reason a load of stuff anyway yeah so as you can see there's now uh, ammo counter and stuff in the thing and yeah can shoot and there's bullets and everything is good and you can reload by pressing R or just wait till the clip empties it's instant because it doesn't really matter and I've got the animations for it so there's not really much point in programming it and yeah uh, there's di bullets die when they collide with some hits and yeah what else uh, yeah P I said that before the health goes down but yeah Okay. Okay, so basically I've added a few new things. There's music and stuff and sounds for the guns, so. And now there is enemies which you can shoot and they die and corpses and all that good stuff. So yeah, these will just pile up and probably clog up the performance. So I'll probably have to get something to get rid of them and this music's really loud. Damn. Okay, so pause that for a second. Uh, show you how to do it. basically uh, scripts are already open. So for enemy movement, it's literally just if the player is to the left of you, yeah, they move left. If not, they move right. Uh, shooting is basically just it'll hold the arm pointing the gun and then creates a bullet if you're within twelve and then has a counter and so it's like sort of randomly shoots I guess and bullets it just literally goes left or right, right it doesn't matter which way uh, what else is it what else spawning is just basically it'll spawn them if you're not within camera view which is a distance of 10 arbitrary units and it'll only have two as many two enemies at a time so you like don't get over them over like encumbered with enemies and that's about it uh, yeah so on to pickups and an end game type. okay so I didn't totally have a uh, <laughs> mic unplugged properly unproperly whatever 
where I was recording in the last segment, so yeah. So basically, new things, like this is the final version, so things I've added cursor, which I've just realised watching the footage back. You can't see the mouse cursor that I talked about, so I added a actual cursor, you know, I changed the doors to here just like to give a little aesthetic bit of like, oh, we've got the dudes in truck coming to kill you. Hey. Uh, yeah, little reloaded sound. Uh, what else? What else? Um, yeah. Eventually, every like minute or so, it'll spawn a health, a stim pack, and some ammo for you. And you can die. I think I'll just wait to show you to spot this one first, rather than just like, you know. Uh, yeah, killed before and there. See, uh, pick up the health. That health goes up. Pick up that. Ammo goes up. Reload. That's a glitch, actually. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's. Okay, that's a glitch with the ammo that I need to fix. Wow, I can use negative ammo. Okay, so aside from these glitches, it's done and it works pretty well. So, if you want it to download, I guess I can fix these glitches. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, I may have missed a few clip bugs, right? So, yeah, that was my Fallout. Scribes, the, the side scrolling game. Cheers for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Go check out that guy's deviant art for his art and stuff. Yeah. Bye.